guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl beauty by ashley delgado here today i'm going to be creating a look with a new collection that i just got and it's very special to my heart if you want to see what i'm using and why it's so special to me then make sure you keep on watching but first don't forget to subscribe to my channel turn on that notification bell and make sure you're staying tuned for all the videos that i'm dropping this collection is very special to me and the title will probably give it away but for those of you who know me know exactly why this is special to me and i'm not gonna get emotional but i got this every once in a while i will grab things from colourpop I really do like ColourPop, but sometimes I just don't go on the site. I just don't open the emails. I don't know why. I have so many things, so sometimes I just don't need it. But for whatever reason, this day, I opened the email that I received from them for to see what the new collection was, and it was this co collection. And I was like, man, what are the odds? I had to get it. And I'm so excited because it finally just came in, so now I can create a look i haven't opened anything so i will be opening it for the first time with all of you and creating a look off the top of my head basically <laughs> but yeah let me show you what the collection is it's just right here ah everything fell of course but it is this tinkerbell collection from colourpop if you follow me you know come on your girl has a Tinkerbell tattoo. Tinkerbell is very special to my family. She sits right on top of my vanity. If you've seen my vanity collection, you've seen her. It's very special to my family. Those of you who know exactly why, I don't want to get into it because I, like I said, don't want to get emotional in this video. We're going to stay happy and we're going to create something nice. So join me today as I sprinkle a little magic. So this is what the palette here looks like. It looks just like this. A lot of greens, golds. This is such a cute palette. Like, look at how cute this is. Look at her. Like, isn't she just so cute? And then also it comes with this little trio here. So I might probably like stick with these kind of colors. I'm not sure yet because I did just do a green look, but then again, who cares? Okay. And then it comes with some blushes that look like this, glossy lip stains, and then a cream gel lip pencil. So let's just jump right in. I'm going to go in today with this Don't Hate Hydrate moisturizer because I've been wanting to test it out and see if it really is. Oh, it's a gel. Wow, it feels really nice on my face and it smells really nice as well. We gotta moisturize the top of these lids because they've been super dry. Mm, that feels really good, very refreshing. Like it gives like this cooling effect. That feels really good, really nice, hydrating. Weather has been very confusing here. Like I was cold today this morning and then when I got out of work, I was hot and now I'm a little cold again. So I have a sweater on. I don't know what's going on. So I'm going to just spray my MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus Spray as well on top. Anything that I can get to moisturize this face, okay? So we're going to go in with our brows. And of course, your girl is keeping it the same. We're not changing it up. I actually did just recently wax my brows. So we're doing good in that department. So we're going to just fill these bad boys in. Guys, I'm filming today and it is Monday night. Mondays are always crazy like the work week is always crazy and just just it's you know you're coming from the weekend who wants to go back to work it's just a tiring day but i was like let me get this video done because i knew if i didn't get it done today then the likelihood of me getting it done was like zero to none okay <laughs> so this is why your girl is sitting right here now you guys have all been good to me so i want to make sure that i am still you know putting my stuff out there like you expect you know i found this non-copyright station and i'm actually really liking it so far the first couple songs were like really good hopefully i don't jinx it because <laughs> you know how that is i might have to save this one because i like it brows are so much easier when you have your brows done okay you don't have to like hide all this extra hair and all that jazz so i actually was contemplating getting my full face threaded i don't know who's ever done that like if you've tried that before but 
I just feel like the makeup application would be so much better and f more flawless if I got it done, but I've never done it. Like usually I just get my brows, sometimes I'll get my upper lip done. Let's be real, okay? Sometimes you gotta take care of that. I am a Latina, so, so. <laughs> you know how that is. But um, I was like, I wonder if the whole face hurts. Like, do you think it really hurts? Should I try it out? What do you think? Like, have you ever tried it out? Does it hurt? Let your girl know because I think I might try it out. I really just want to do a makeup application without the peach fuzz and see. Like, maybe this is why these girls be looking so flawless on Instagram, okay? Because sometimes, let's be real, there are imperfections. And I'm like, hmm what is the trick i think i might try it do you think i should try it let me know <laughs> if you want me to be the guinea pig then i just might do it so what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna go in and carve out my brows so this is my ultimate favorite thing to carve out my brows with it is the nars soft matte complete concealer and it is in medium one and custard so my friend ademari put me on to this she used it one time and i was like girl what is that and then she told me and i bought it and it is like my favorite thing to use to carve out my brows like i just can't explain how good it is but this is what it looks like here i always use it but i was out of it because clearly i can't multitask anyway so so i just take this little brush right here and i use it to carve out my brows like i was saying this is my favorite thing and i was out of it for a little while let me tell you why because my daughter madison who is three years old was in my room one day and she just decided that she wanted to play with mommy's makeup so she just started opening everything that was on my vanity and that day i must have done a look with like darker colors like with black and stuff because she took all of my black shadow and she smudged it all over my vanity all over her face like dude it was even in her mouth it was everywhere and then i have these like metallic pots they're like eyeshadow colors right and they're metallic if you touch it it kind of just falls apart it's one of those things that it just like falls apart so that she took that and she was like dipping a brush in it and then dipping it into my nars concealer i used it a lot so it was almost at the end but still like and she was just mixing it all in so like that stuff was inside of here with the black and everything it was there was like no saving it i was so upset i literally had to remember that she was three years old so that i didn't yell at her because i was so, so upset. upset and like when you see that dude you literally just see money signs because let me tell you some of this stuff is not cheap which is why i might only have one of it like i don't know what else to say but i was dude i was so mad that was like the only thing that i was really upset about like everything else i was like whatever i can wipe it off like i can rinse her mouth out but that i was huh, yeah let's not talk about it i finally got my new one in so i'm very excited that it's in but your girl was without it for a couple weeks <laughs> until it came in it's like so i'm completely complete done i feel like a kid like i'm so excited that i have this let's do it no well, i just missed it so much that i'm just gonna use it on my lids as well okay like, i never want that to happen again also need to get another one of these brushes like i don't know why i only have one of these it's the expert concealer brush from real techniques and it really is one of my favorite to uh buff out concealer like under the eyebrows on the eyelids this is definitely one for your collection like if you're looking for a good concealer brush i definitely love 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 this one and it is affordable real techniques you can find in target ulta amazon so the next thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go in with my 3d brow tones from benefit because i'm just filling this combination right now and then we're gonna set it with benefit 24 hour brow setter yes I'm definitely saving this station. I really like it. So I'm going to go in with my MAC Blink Type. And that is the like whitish foundation. And I'm just going to take like this big brush. Eyeshadow, not foundation. What I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of just touch my eyelids. So 
make sure that that is all even there. I think I'm gonna go in with the palette and I'm gonna use this color right here. It's called Big Magic. Well, that is a nice color and it is very pigmented, guys. I don't know if you see what I see, but it's very, very pigmented. Yeah, I must say like people start on ColourPop because it's like not as expensive and people are like, oh, it's probably cheap, but it really like they really do have good things there. So don't think twice about ColourPop, dude. Like look at that pigment. First of all, I might just go in with the green. I think I'm going to use this color right here. It's called Sleep. So it is Sleep. And then I'm going to go over it with Neverland right here, just a little bit. And I'm actually going to go in just a tiny, tiny bit with the wake. I'm going to use a smaller brush because, like I said, I just want to do a very tiny bit of it. I don't want to darken that too, too much. So I'm going to use a flat brush like this. And I'm going to go right into that awake color right there. And then I'm just going to get it like right under. And then with the same color, not adding anything, I'm going to just buff that out. And then we're going to go ahead and just do the same thing on the other side my POEs and I'm gonna use with this black brush I need to like hold my eye so I basically just erased. took a q-tip and I kind of erased away that concealer so that's all I wanted to do with the green is I wanted to get it in that crease like that then there's this there's this color here it's called tink I'm gonna take a little bit of the tink and I'm just gonna go right above where that green is right now currently. All right, so I'm bringing this over that, just like that. And then I'm gonna take that brush, not adding any more color on it. It's the same one that I used with the sleep color. And I'm just gonna give that a little blend. And that's what you're gonna have, just like that. This little edge, don't worry about it. We're gonna fix that when we do our concealer. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna just do the same thing on the other side. Look at this pixie between so i feel like i was just trying to figure out what i wanted with this eye look and i have a mess on my hand to prove it i didn't know where i was going so i had to like figure it out now that i figured it out and i like what i did i'm gonna repeat that on the other side and i will show you this time so you see what's going on let me just clean my hand first because this is great promise once you put the lashes on it's gonna look bomb i wish that the orange color was a little bit more pigmented because i feel like you can't really see it let's go do this on this side i'm using a little liner brush just like this and i'm gonna dip that into my Louise. and then what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna outline where i want the orange to be so this is kind of like a guide and i'm gonna go right under that green and just dip back into the concealer if you need more concealer i just tried to use like the very tip of it so that you don't get too much down and then you can go in again with that q-tip and kind of clean up that line and then we're gonna go in with this um l'oreal l'oreal active color in the it's called tigress like that that is orange i just wish like the orange was bright like this you know but i think that i might just be like not mixing it with the right thing you know because i don't i don't really know what you're supposed to use with it so what i did was i sprayed my uh, fix plus on it just to kind of like wet it a little bit so kind of like a paint almost and then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go over just where i went with the concealer with the orange so again just use the tip So I do feel like that this side is a little more pigmented. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that orange color and I'm going to try to touch up this side over here. Okay, okay. I might have just been like scared. Like I probably was like, what are you doing, girl? <laughs> Trying to be different over here. Look at you. Okay, okay. All right, that's brighter, that's brighter. I always say like at the beginning of my video, I'm like, all right, I'm gonna do a confined mess. I'm not gonna mess up my vanity that much, right? I'm just gonna keep everything in like this little area. I'm not even gonna show you what my vanity looks like, okay? Cause you ain't gonna judge me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this second star color right here and I'm gonna just touch on the lid with that. And then I'm going to take this um, this small fairy right here with the pixie, uh, the place between. Look at me saying pixie. 
we're gonna mix that together okay we're gonna put that in to the lid like that just in that inner corner i'm gonna take the um awake color right here and i'm just gonna hit this bottom inner corner like this so kind of like i'm doing liner like across the line i'm looking for the brushes right in my hand all right and then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go in with this small fairy color in the middle here so we're gonna mix those together they're gonna meet in the middle so we're gonna mix all that pixie color and then over that what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go in with my uh huda beauty highlighter and i'm gonna use the liquid side and hit it with that dark green. It's so crazy how much easier it was to do it the second time. Like I'm telling you, once you have your idea in your head, it is so much easier to do. I'm like, should I get really crazy and put a rhinestone? I'm not pushing it. I kind of want to put a rhinestone. I kind of just want to put like a little rhinestone in there, like a be like baby one. And let's be real today was a rough day and this just makes it so fun you know and like you don't think about anything i'm gonna take my little rhinestone one step smaller i think i might use uh one step smaller in the inner corner i just kind of dip it in some glitter glue with this and then i take this thing so you see these come in like all different sizes so i think i'm gonna use the littlest one I feel like when you think about Tinkerbell anyways, you think about a lot of pixie dust and sparkle. Oh girl, look at the yep. So I'm gonna go in with my Skin Treat from Sugar Rush. It's from Tarte. I'm gonna go in with this today. It's hydrating, so I'm like, tinted moisturizer, poreless tinted moisturizer. So I'm like, maybe this will give extra hydration to my face, you know? I also got concealer from them, I think. So I did get the um, Sugar Rush Skin Treat um, Concealer as well. I did also get it in light medium. So with the light medium, I just kind of want to go into my inner corner. So I'm going to use this like where, where I really need to like brighten up. Okay. Use it there. Use some there. Use some here here gonna go in with my revolution super uh conceal and define and this is uh the c13 one that i use for contour i'm gonna use my kimchi Translucent powder. Yo, this kimchi powder is no joke. No joke. Since we're doing a sugar rush kind of day, I'm gonna stick with my sugar rush and I'm gonna use the Sun and Fun Big Bronzer. It looks like that. I'm gonna use that right in here. So for blush, I'm gonna use my Bliss from Rare Beauty. And then for highlight, I'm just gonna stick on my Holy Girl today. I'm gonna use my Anastasia and Marie scene. We're gonna keep this on my highlight today, okay? We're gonna do the tip of the nose. I'm gonna use that tint color underneath. Like that, we're gonna put some mascara and some lashes. So for mascara, I just threw on my roller lash from Benefit. Let's get some lashes. Just bought like new lashes and I don't know where I put them. Maybe if my vanity was clean. 
found them. So I'm gonna go in with these enchanting lashes from Love Lash. It looks like this. They're very dramatic. I think it's like more dramatic than what I usually wear, but I feel like this look is dramatic, so let's just go for it, right? We're doing it. I'm just gonna cut a little bit of the pokey, the corner thingies off. The pokey thing. All right, and of course I'm gonna be using my Love Lash eyelash glue. I'm gonna go in with my MAC Whirl. And I'm gonna do the Sugar Rush Sugar Coat and Cake Pop. There's not much in here, so I'm gonna try to squeeze it. That's how they get ya. Cause I'm gonna have to go get one. And over that, I'm just gonna add a little bit of Kylie Coco Cake. Just a little bit. All right, guys, I know we got through it. Yes. This is the final look here. I really am feeling these lashes, man. Like, I don't usually do a little more dramatic lash. I'm very, like, I like classic. I like it simple. But I really like these lashes. I'm feeling it. So I think I'm going to sneak in another video. And I'm going to do a little hair one and get my do my hair because I look a little crazy. But as far as this look right here, using my Tinkerbell, this is the final look. Yes. I'm so glad that I did the orange and not the yellow because I feel like the yellow looks, I mean, the yellow. I feel like the orange looks so much better. It's time for me to go to bed. I don't know what I'm doing. Anyways, that is the final look using my new Tinkerbell collection. Thank you so much for watching my video. It is time to get out of here. So I'm going to end it here. But before I do, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and make sure you turn on that bell so you stay tuned for what's to come. Bye, guys.